goes up must come down. Shouldn't we be nervous? Um, yeah. Now, what was it that enticed you guys to, to join the cast? Of course, you have to come back and Liam for you to jump on board. What brought you to the movie? I was I was very excited to, to work with Jeff. There were so many great people part of the project before I came aboard. Yeah. I was thrilled. It was I was uh, thrilled and grateful that uh, the opportunity came along to work with Roland Emmerich again, wonderful director and a wonderful guy to work with. Uh, Liam is a uh, thrilling and uh, rare uh, opportunity. Yeah, now given it being a sequel, is there some pressure being a bit like a second date where you've gone all out the first date and how do you come back and you know impress uh, them again on the second or how are the feelings going into it? Yeah, if you have a date 20 years and then not and not, not the next one until 20 years later, you, you have a little explaining to do. <laughs> come out with the guns uh, blazing. How come you didn't call me? <laughs> uh, I thought you lost my number. Well, but it's 20 years later. Let's uh, dress up and go someplace. There's some cracking uh, you know, action scenes of you in the spaceship shooting. Were you practicing at the PlayStation, at the Xbox at home? I do play a lot of Xbox. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The skills are good. I've never <laughs> played a video game ever in my life. Just so I was like, yeah, I was like, well, well, you know, I was very Slow. Any memorable moments or funny things, pranks behind the scenes in the movie? Yeah. We'll bounce around on the moon for a couple of days, that was good. <laughs> Any souvenirs, anything you lifted? I have dog tags in the film, I took those. You did? Yeah, yeah. Those. I don't actually know where they are though. Just finally boys, why should people go and see Independence Day Resurgence? It's literally the best film ever. <laughs> yeah. Citizen Kane, <laughs> rules of the game, Independence Day resurgence leaves them all in the dust.